Hello and welcome. It's Kevin Doherty here from Dream Practice Coaching and BuildYourDreamPractice.net. And if you're a nutritionist who is looking to grow a more successful practice, I want to share some really important tips for you in this video that should really help you out. And in particular, I want to focus on the internet because I really think the internet is the number one asset you have right now to grow a thriving nutrition business. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is a big subject, and I'm going to try to give you uh, as much insight as I can here in the next few minutes. So most nutritionists would greatly benefit, first and foremost, from tapping into their entrepreneurial spirit and really mastering the skill of marketing and promotion. So before we get into tactics and strategies, I always like to start with some mindset training first, because your success really starts in your own mind and it starts with identifying the primary role that you want to play as a business owner and I encourage you to have a role that you identify with as an entrepreneur that you really love marketing you love business development you have an empowered relationship with money and if you can do that things will flow so much easier on the outside so when you start to embrace your entrepreneurial spirit and you start to get more interested in marketing, if you do any research on the internet, you're going to see that, that what I'm about to say is just a, a fact. There's a ton of potential online right now to build a massive audience to promote your nutrition services and products. So you're starting your business or you're looking to grow your business at a very good time. Uh, there are there's certainly not a shortage of people out there that are interested in what you do and if you have the right uh, kind of system in place to get in touch with those people reach out to them and attract them to your work you really can't go wrong and like I said the internet is definitely the best place to do this so the first thing that I want to suggest is that you think global for your business that you're not just looking to get clients in the door locally uh, if you can scale your market out to a global audience, it's going to be a lot more effective if you're, if you're looking to use the internet. So you want to package your services so you can work with people anywhere, literally anywhere in the world. And, um, you know, I've worked with a lot of nutritionists where that's absolutely possible, either doing um, Skype or phone consoles, just working virtually, and, uh, you know, possibly even having information products or even running group programs online. So you have a lot of different options, but you know, when it comes to the internet, but if you want to really get into the internet to build your business, I really think that that going global global and att attracting a worldwide audience is going to work a lot better for you than just working with clients locally. So along these lines, you want to make sure you set up your website to be a 24/7 sales engine for your business. Now, setting up an effective nutrition website is a very big subject, and we don't have time to get into all of the details here. This is actually something that I coach on a lot, is how to set up your website for success and make it uh, really effective from a design perspective and incorporate all the right marketing elements into your website. But in a nutshell, you want to have compelling copy, social media integration, you want to have lead generation and an opt-in form on your website. Uh, so there are lots of elements that go into making your website really effective. Uh, and if you get all those elements in place, there's no reason why your website can't be actively promoting your business 24-7 across the globe. And that's a very exciting prospect as a nutritionist because your audience is massive. It's, it's beyond what you can even fathom. And your website is really the hub of everything that you do to market online. So we want to make sure that it's set up well and that when people hit your website, you're taking them through the right process. Now, once you have a really nice, effective website set up, my first place that I would like you to focus is Facebook. I think Facebook is an amazing platform. In fact, it's a perfect platform to get more exposure and build a network of fans who love what you're about. Now, as a nutritionist, you may or may not already have a vested interest in Facebook to grow your business. Uh, and if you've been skeptical of Facebook or cynical of it or just you know, not really understand, you know, sure understanding why this website is helpful, well, you know, it, it, it is a big subject and there's a lot to say about this. 
uh, but you really need to get on this site and you need, you need to learn how to use it from a business perspective. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a customized fan page for your business. And that's really easy to do. It just takes about three or four minutes. You can Google that um, and, uh, and you'd find a really good designer to do this for you in, in just a few minutes. So this is not hard to do. You might just need to pay a little bit of, of money to have this done for you. Um, and you want to focus on sharing just a tremendous amount of value for your audience on Facebook. So the customization of your fan page is important because you want to get your brand out there. You want to get people identifying with the visual representation of your business. And secondly, you want to couple that with just sharing awesome resources for your audience. So when people like your page, you're just inundating them with positive re resources and insights and they start to associate your work with a lot of value and they start to think of you as a, an expert in what you do. And that's where Facebook is really powerful because if you, if you use a fan page well, um, it can really be the number one platform you have to share your knowledge, to connect with more people, uh, and so on. So as of this, uh, this current time, as I'm shooting this video, uh, my fan page, the Dream Practice fan page at facebook.com slash dream practice fan page has just over 18,000 fans. And it's definitely my number one place to connect with more people, to gain more exposure, to convey expertise, and to just continue to scale up my business. It's, it's a huge asset. And it really should be for you too, especially if you're targeting worldwide and you can bring in people from anywhere and work with them. So Facebook's a big subject, but I just want to make sure that you're starting to think of it in, in a business sense and using it effectively. Now to really ramp up the number of fans that you have on your fan page, I highly recommend that you use Facebook advertising to build your audience. And you can just go to facebook.com slash ads to get your campaign set up. Um, and simply put, you can target other fan pages that, that have the same market as you do. Uh, and you can just go right into your competitors, for lack of a better term, and, and start to attract some of their fans to your page. And Facebook advertising is, as are these other subjects, it's a big subject. I mean, there are, there's a lot to say about this. Uh, but I just want to get you thinking in this direction. Because if you can use the Facebook advertising platform effectively, this could be the, really one of the only things you need to do to get the exposure that you're looking for. It's really not that hard to get really cheap clicks on Facebook and to just get a ton of eyeballs on your website, on your fan page, and a lot of just you know very targeted traffic coming your way. So you wanna focus on getting both fans and email subscribers from your ads before you focus on getting paying clients. And that's saying a mouthful right there because I think a lot of people aren't really clear on how Facebook marketing really works. Um, and if you're looking to build your nutrition business using this approach, you have to realize that most people on Facebook aren't there to buy nutrition services from you. That's not their primary intention for being there. So your first goal is just to connect with them and build a relationship with them, get them to become a fan of your page, uh, and then you can stay in touch with them indefinitely. And even better, offer them something for free that they can opt into and, and get on your email list, like a free report or a free video series. And that way you can have some automated follow-up email messages that you can send out to them that share even more value and make offers to them and get them to take that next step in the buying process with you. So this is also a big subject and, and I go into a lot of detail in my coaching work around this, uh, but you, you just want a bird's eye pers perspective of this right now and start thinking in this direction that you want both fans and email subscribers from your ads and that's your primary goal when you're starting out. Now, if you start sharing a lot of value and you start connecting with people effectively and staying in touch with them over time, a lot of those people will just naturally want to work with you. They'll like what you have to say. They'll see the value in what you offer, and they will be much more likely to want to sign up for your services. So let's switch gears here now just for a minute and talk about YouTube, because I also want you using YouTube to gain more exposure for your business. So what I would recommend is shooting a series of two to four minute videos on a consistent basis. And what I would do is find long tail keywords that you can optimize your videos for. So a long tail keyword is just a, it's a phrase that is longer than one word 
that uh, people would be typing into Google that is directly relevant to your services. So that might be, um, you know, there, there are infinite examples of this, but for instance, natural weight loss or um, how to lose belly fat naturally. Like those are long tail keywords because it's a whole series of words that are very descriptive. And the longer the, the phrase is, the easier it's going to be to rank for at the top of Google. Uh, and it just so happens that because Google owns YouTube, Google really favors YouTube videos right now and will rank them very well a lot of the time, especially if it's for more of a long tail keyword. So search engine optimizing your YouTube video videos, th there, there is a lot that goes into that process. So it's a big, big subject. Uh, but once again, I just want you thinking in this direction and starting to move uh, towards this way of doing things because if you can get a whole series of videos that are optimized well, that can also be an amazing strategy to get a lot more people exposed to your work. And the beauty of this is it's pretty much free. It takes your time and it takes more energy. And sometimes you do have to pay some for the optimization of your videos, depending on what strategy you're using. But it, it is uh, a highly leveraged and very low cost form of marketing. Um, you also want to share your videos on your fan page and other social media sites. So you don't only want to play the Google game with your videos or just get them ranked well on YouTube. You also want to share those videos actively on the social sites. So you're getting your Facebook fans to click through to your videos. You're sharing a lot of value through videos and you're educating your, your audience through, through video as well. So I think for nutritionists, YouTube is just one of the most powerful platforms out there. A lot of people need to be more educated about what you do. They don't really get it. They don't get why they should invest in your services. And you can use a series of short videos to really help overcome objections, areas of confusion or resistance, and just get people inspired to take better care of their health and to get more committed to uh, dietary and lifestyle choices. You also want to consider using WordPress to gain even more exposure. So WordPress is a blogging platform, which you probably know. Uh, and blogging is just a great way to get more organic traffic to your site, position you as an expert, and build connections with more people online. So WordPress is my favorite platform for setting up a blog and you know, it just has so many benefits to using uh, this particular platform. So you also want to integrate your videos into your blog posts on occasion. So this is called video blogging. And in the nutrition industry, this is still considered a very innovative thing to do. So if you can set up a series of videos and integrate those videos into WordPress blog posts, you're doing something that very few other nutritionists ever even consider. And what that means is your audience is gonna be that much more attracted to you and wanna work with you because you're using innovative and cutting edge strategies that position you as an expert and that educate people and share a lot of value. You also definitely want to share your blog posts on Facebook, Twitter, and all of the social sites. So all of these strategies are synergistically linked. You know, you don't just want to have a fan page. You don't just want to have a blog. You don't want to just have a YouTube channel. You want to do all of this and have them all interlink and you're constantly using all of these platforms in an interconnected way to constantly build out your audience. And you know when you start to use these platforms synergistically, the, the growth process tends to be a lot more exponential. It just, it just blows up a lot faster. Uh, if you're integrating blog posts with videos and then you're syndicating it to your fan page and on Twitter, and then you're getting your, your content ranked at the top of Google, there's just a snowball effect of uh, getting your content noticed out there online. And that's what you want. So obviously, I could share a lot more about this. You probably get the impression that there's a lot more I could say about that, about all of this, and that is definitely true. Uh, but let me close it here. I just want to share two important resources for you if you want to learn more. Uh, you can go to prosperouspracticenow.com, which is an online membership that I've created that has a ton of great marketing content in there. Uh, that is going to help you on so many levels from mindset to offline marketing to internet marketing, uh, managing clients effectively within your business. There's just a ton of information in there that should help you out. Um, and if you need a new website or an overhaul of your current site, you can go to dreampracticewebsites.com. 
click the contact tab and set up a free console with my web designer Rachel. She's awesome and she'll definitely help you out. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, your website really is the hub upon which you build your entire business. So it needs to be set up really well. You don't want a cheap generic website that uh, undersells your services and that honestly repels people from wanting to work with you. And unfortunately, I see that a lot amongst nutritionists is that they're trying to cut corners, they're, they're just trying to do everything as cheap as they can, and their website actually conveys a, a sense of that, of, of having cut corners or mediocrity is the, the kind of word that comes to mind. And that's what you want to avoid. You want to convey quality to your audience. And that's where Rachel can help you out. So feel free to contact her if you're serious about moving forward. So once again, my name is Kevin Doherty. Uh, I'm a business and marketing coach at buildyourdreampractice.net. I've been working with nutritionists and holistic health practitioners for many, many years now. And um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Also, feel free to opt into my email list here so we can stay in touch and I'll share a lot of great tips and resources with you. And also make sure we connect on Facebook, facebook.com slash dream practice fan page. Love to see you there as well. All right. Hope this video helps you out and gets you moving forward in the right direction. Definitely take advantage of all the internet has to offer your practice or your business. I can guarantee it will be worth your while. Uh, take care and keep me posted on your progress.